The NACP Activist of the Year Award is presented to an individual who exemplifies outstanding work and commitment through their bold efforts to affect political and or social change within their community. And without question, my dear friend, Dr. Derek Lee Forward has gone above and beyond to improve policy and the quality of life in his hometown of Dayton, Ohio. We are proud to recognize his work as this year's honoree. Dayton native Dr. Derek Lee Forward was called to be a servant leader, and his commitment to serving and empowering others is evident in his family, his career, his church, and his community. Dr. Derek Lee Forward has been pivotal in helping the Dayton unit define its vision and commitment to focusing on the second A in the NAACP, advancement. For nearly 30 years, Dr. Forward was an innovative manager and team leader with Speedway. There, he mentored and provided opportunities for many and was recognized for his community service. In 2016, Central State University, his beloved alma mater, inducted him into the Alumni Achievement Hall of Fame. He was awarded a Doctorate of Humane Letters by the International Apostolic University of Grace and Truth, from which he also received a master's degree. In 2022, Dr. Derek Forward was elected to his ninth consecutive term as president of the Dayton Unit NAACP. As president, Dr. Forward has cultivated relationships with local and state representatives and business leaders in order to create change. From the curbside mailbox in West Dayton to the Kroger supermarket improvements, from youth programs to job fairs, he works diligently to improve everyday life in Dayton. He helped establish an eight-point strategy for criminal justice reform and police accountability. He has spoken out against public school closings and hospital closings in the black community. He's fought against red light cameras and advocated for body cameras. Under his leadership, the Dayton Unit NAACP fervently fights racial and civil injustice. Recognizing the sacrifices of those civil rights activists before him, Dr. Forward continues the good fight to make the Dayton Unit community healthier, wealthier, and wiser. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is a real honor for me to stand on the stage here tonight because this August August institution of an organization has been here for over a, a hundred years and in the midst and in the memory of all those who came before that we must remember it's a very special moment to give this honor there's blood on that ballot box for the many men and women who have given their lives for us to be here tonight is celebratory so yes Let's celebrate, but remember, there's blood on that ballot box. Many members of this august organization, the NAACP, gave their lives so that we can be here tonight. And we are honoring an activist who is in that vein, who is exemplary of the men and women who face great fears and dangers to make sure that we fulfill the lives that we are so deserving of, and we honor Dr. Derek Lee Forward for your effective leadership and dedication to the advancement of your community and the organization. We present to you this year's NAACP Activist of the Year Award. This is why we came here. This is what this organization is all about. For the activists, for the activists and the advocacy, Dr. Ford. i
stick. First, give an honor and praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because of him we could do what? Through Christ, which strengthens us. But we could do nothing without his incredible love for each one of us. I want to take this opportunity to thank the Image Awards Committee for selecting this young boy from Dayton, Ohio, who has gone to market for many Americans throughout this country to protect their civil and human rights. It's because of individuals back home in Dayton, Ohio, that I'm able to even do this work. Those individuals in Dayton, Ohio, chose to elect me to my ninth term as president. In the great Buckeye state of Ohio, statewide, the team in, in Ohio has elected to serve me, has, has, ser has chosen to elect me as vice president in my seventh term. But it's because of how every individual who is a activist throughout this country and especially in this organization known as the NAACP that go to market every single day, day in, day out, for zero dollars and zero cents on behalf of the American people. That's what all of us as local presidents, as state presidents, as state and local activists, zero, can we say zero dollars and zero cents. That's what we do every single day to protect individual civil and human rights. Mama, I love you. You know, this is my mother. And was that because of her wisdom and her knowledge, coming from Anderson, Alabama, raising six kids, and my father from Wayland, Kentucky, who lost his father at an early age in the co because his father worked in the coal mines, uh, you know, trying to protect and serve his children. My mother, Mama, just know that your son, Derek Forward, this little old boy that you used to rub his hair, I love you with every inch of my being. Every inch of my being. You know, to my late wife, who the Lord blessed me with for over 30 years. I lost her about four years ago due to cancer. But the Lord said, Derek, you got to move forward. You got to go on with your life because I've chosen you to do work. And that's in this civil rights arena. For all of you, to all of the committee, I just want to say thank you. And, ju and just know this, Matthew 6 and 33 says, all these other things, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all these other things, this thing right here, all these other things will come. But you got to seek him first. And when you put him on that higher plane, no matter, no, your life is unlimited. It's limitless. So just know that whenever you go to market, whatever you want to do, put him first and he will do something. But I have one other quick thing. And I just want to say this to my team. But also I have some inside of my pocket right here because this individual has been a very Diamond, you call a diamond in the rough. Tawana, can you come here for a second, please? So what I want to say to this young lady right here, I want to say, will you marry me? 